So this problem, this comes from chapter 18, when we learn about probability histograms and things. So what this does is if I have the box with two zeros and eight ones, I could draw a histogram of that using what we know about histograms. Now, in this chapter, I'm not expecting you to draw gra these graphs, and you don't have to know how to do it. You just have to kind of understand what I'm going to show for the rest of the realm. Okay, but you can see here that that is not actually the correct histogram, is it? <laughs> I should probably fix that. That's actually the histogram for the box, eight zeros and two ones. Okay, because you can see there are eight zeros and two ones. Sorry, that was probably confusing. I will fix that. Okay, so you'll notice here though, that's what was in the box. But then if I start drawing things out, if you think about it, when I start drawing things out, I'll probably get more zeros than I will um, ones. Okay, makes sense. But what happens when I start adding them together? So if I start drawing them out and adding them together, like if I went 10 times, I might draw out like seven zeros and three ones. So if I add them together, I might get like three. Okay. Because there's a lot more zeros though, I'll probably be getting a lot more smaller numbers and not as many big numbers. Okay. So what we can actually do statistically, now this is more advanced than what I asked you to do, which is why I drew it. There's ways that I know how to figure out what it would look like for different numbers of draws. So I can tell you for 10 draws, I can figure out exactly what the dis distribution would look like. So the distribution is what are all the possible values that I could possibly get, okay? And so when you start off, this histogram looks kind of lopsided, okay? And so for small, um, numbers of trials, it will be still lopsided, okay? But when you get bigger number of trials, it looks normal. Now when I say it, I mean the sum so the possible sums will start looking normal when you do something lots of times. So no matter what your original box looks like, if you find the sum, then the distribution of all the possible sums will look normal. So when you look at this, which one looks lopsided and which one looks the most normal? This one looks the most normal, so it would have to be the biggest because it is the most normal. Okay, and again, I would never ask you to look at this and say, oh, well, that must be 300. You can't do that. But what you can do is compare three plus and figure out which one's which. This one looks pretty lopsided, so I'm going to guess it's the smallest because it is lopsided still. This one's kind of in the middle, so we'll go with the only answer left of 50. 